Hey everybody, this is Eric from Less Films, and today I'm going to show you, um, not how to do this whole logo reveal, but just the, uh, the front part where I, I fill up the, the Groove Shark circle logo with some water and introduce the, uh, the shark fin into the logo, and uh, it looks a little something like this. Okay, it's bubbling up real nice. Oh look, Groove Shark! There we are. I also added some sound effects, check this out. Nice. Cool. Yeah, that was uh, some of the folks at Groove Shark headquarters in um, Gainesville lending me their voices when their screams for the, uh, the Groove Shark logo reveal. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to fill something up with black water and evil sharks. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is animate my round Groove Shark logo here. So uh, let me take off, turn off the main logo. I'm going to start with the circle. Hit S for scale and put a keyframe right there at the beginning. I'm going to go forward 10 frames and uh, set another keyframe at 110%. And then go forward 4 keyframes and click it back at 100. Change this first one to 0. So I'm have a nice, just a little pop up. Simple. Highlight them. Hit F9. Easy ease. Gives a nice effect. Okay, next I want to fill this circle up with water. So as soon as it hits that mark, I want to bring my waves composition that I've previously made in here. And as you can tell, it's just a long, long composition. The top has some wave-like qualities. So, um, so there's that, and I want to click P for position. And start my keyframe right there. And I want this to go out about six seconds. I want to take the whole whole entire part of this make it travel all the way across like that and then I'm going to go 25 frames into the future here and I'm going to raise it up to my fin level right about there Okay, so now what I have is it bubbles up pretty quick. I have my nice waves. I continue to travel through. Now let me pre-compose this, Command Shift C, and I want to move all the attributes into the, the new composition because if I didn't I wouldn't be able to mask it like this. So we're now pre-composed and I'm going to mask this pretty simply with a nice little circle, happy little little circle there. So now play this back. Let me save it. Get this little water filling up effect there. Okay, now once my water hits that point right there, I want to start bringing my, my shark fin in. So let's animate the fin. Now I know I want it to be in this position at the very end, so we'll click a keyframe. Just throw it down here, the way we don't screw up where it needs to to be and what size it needs to be. We'll also throw down a, a scale keyframe, so it helps us out there. So once this once this starts right about there, I'm gonna bring our shark spin straight back. I'm gonna reduce it in size. Nice. We'll do the same thing. The same thing to the shark fin here. Command Shift C to pre-compose it. Fin comp. I'll call it fin comp masked. Move all the attributes into the new composition and make myself another maskola here. I just start calling them maskolas, like crapola. You can put ola on anything. Cool. All right. So now there we go, and our shark fin there bring that 
this way. There we go. Ta da! And here comes a shark! So. He's coming in pretty slow. Really want him to come in a little bit quicker. So. So let me click into here, into the fin composition. Let's just bring this whole section back to about right there. So now let's just see. Circle comes up, we fill up. The shark's still not entering as fast as I'd like him, so we'll just pull it back even more. Not bad, it's a start, but you get the general idea of masking here. You can um, use this type of effect to fill any type of thing up with water. Uh, you can also use radio waves and some displacement maps and some other things uh, to, to get a ripple type effect, but that's a whole other tutorial all in itself. This is a simple way to get a very quick water level rising effect um, and put it inside of whatever container you want. That shape, that circle, that I use for the shape, that could be any type of shape. That could be any shape you make with a pen tool. So get to filling stuff up with stuff that looks like water. In this case, black water that's full of sharks that want to eat you. So, well, this has been Eric from Less Films. You can check out lessfilms.com or lessfilms.tumblr.com to see more of my stuff. Or you can email me at eric at lessfilms.com. And I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to fill stuff up with black water. See ya.